Greetings, true believers. Gerald Powell, Spider-Man. Cadre, it's KJ. Uh, got in a couple mail calls today and wanted to do a video uh, showing you guys what I got. The first thing is I got a box from Oz Shaving Company, which is a local artisan to me. They're in the Kansas City area in Overland Park, Kansas. Uh, recently discovered them through the Shaving Cadre forum. Uh, somebody was posting about having uh, one of their soaps and aftershaves. Went to the site, checked them out, and had to get some stuff. Uh, so the first thing I got was samples. So I got one of each of all of their scents. I've got uh, 11 altogether, which includes one uh, pre-release scent that they included. So this is one that's just called Winter Scent, <clears throat> at least right now, and uh, is one that they'll be releasing soon, but is not available for purchase yet. Um, and I'm not gonna go through all of these, but I can tell you this one's got some spice and like maybe some peppermint in it. Um, so that's pretty good. Um, gave him a quiff uh, sniff. Uh, I definitely the ones that I'm liking initially are not probably the ones I would have picked so I'm glad I went with samples uh, to check them all out and see which ones I like now the other thing I had to have from their site was a couple of brushes um, <clears throat> this one uh, really grabbed my eye um, obviously for obvious reasons uh, if you know me at all uh, they call me Mr. Halloween on the uh, Shaven Cadre um, I had to get the jack-o'-lantern brush. Um, it just is really cool. Uh, it's got a, uh, a black synthetic knot. Uh, looks pretty floppy, which is kind of what I'm looking for in a uh, synthetic knot. I don't like them when they're too stiff. Um, the brush handle is much bigger than I thought, um, but is it feels really nice in your hand, and it's a, a cast resin. Uh, that I believe is hand painted after it's been cast and then it's uh, covered up with a protective layer. So it's a really nice looking brush, really good feeling brush. Uh, I'm really glad uh, with this purchase. The other one that I got, uh, and I forget the name of this one, all of their stuff is Wizard of Oz themed, so uh, th it has a name to go with it and I forget, but this is me in a brush. like. My three favorite colors are black, purple, and green. And I absolutely love when all three of those colors are together. Um, and uh, the brush sh handle shape to me is a bit weird. Um, I've never had a brush like this, um, but it seems to have a few kind of natural grips. Um, so it initially feels pretty comfortable. It's a bit longer than I might like, but um, I think I'll get used to it just fine. Uh, this one has a tuxedo knot, which is a little bit stiffer than the uh, the first synthetic, but um, I know a lot of my synthetics, they'll loosen up a little bit after a couple of uses um, once the, the bristles get washed and stuff. So uh, I think this one will, will be just fine as well. Um, but I just love the, the swirling green and purples, and there's a little bit of black outlining the uh, division between them. And I picked the uh, uh, tuxedo knot to accentuate the uh, the black in those. So you can, when you buy brushes from them, they have the handles and then you can get whatever knot you want put in them. They have uh, regular synthetic, like the regular brown synthetic. They got the black synthetic, they got the uh, tuxedo, and then they also have two different um, grades of badger hair that you can get in their uh, handles. So any handle you want, uh, you can get whatever uh, brush knot you want in it. So that's one thing. The second thing that I got today, and what I'm most excited about, is I got in my Holy Black Jekyll and Hyde kit. Um, so I bought this one. I didn't get in on the sale uh, from the Holy Black, uh, but I bought this one on eBay. And I think I uh, ended up paying like the same price uh, for this one uh, as, as as if I would have got it on the uh, the website for the uh, initial release. This is case number 191, and uh, I'm gonna open it right here live on camera. Um, so I'm gonna break on this camera so I can set it up 
to be, uh, so that you can see it as I see it when I open it. So we're gonna pause for a second and be right back. And we're back. Um, so I'm gonna do my best to try to keep this in frame uh, so you guys can see everything as I see it. Um, so, see the details on this a little bit more. Uh, it says not to be open till the death or disappearance of Dr. Henry Jekyll. Um, it's got a stamp uh, from London. Dangerous Contents, The Holy Black, Long Island, case number 191. Uh, you can see some of the packing material is kind of escaping out of the side, which is going to give us a little bit of avenue to help us open it. Um, you can see it's all wood all the way around. And on this side, uh, there is a um, opener with the Holy Black uh, label on it. So it's attached with a nail here, but then it's, it's taped on. So we're just going to peel that tape off carefully. I don't want to pull up any of the, the wood or as little as I need to. Teeny nail came right out. And we're just gonna insert this carefully into the side. I know this is probably gonna take me a little while because I wanna be careful and not damage the wood. Top is just attached with uh, staples, so we just need to kind of go around it and carefully. Whoop. So I've already triggered. There's a light sensitive switch in there for triggering the uh, sound, and I've already got that. So we're getting a little preview. And I just jacked up a little bit of the wood, so we're going to try to fix that. So this corner, I kind of <clears throat> kind of jacked that corner up a little bit, but see if I can I think it's just light sensitive there we go so that's what we should have seen so there's a letter I'm gonna pipe that here now let's see you can see there's light inside there with the sound I'm gonna pull out some of this packing And 
you can see there is a light behind the two bottles of aftershave. So we've got the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde tallow shaving soap. Two different halves of soap uh, kind of swirled together so you can uh, pull out whichever one you want or get a mixture of the two of them. It smells pretty good. Nice uh, ceramic dish. Looks like my dish won't rest right now because the uh, soap is a little high right there. But that'll get down and soon enough and my stupid cat. And then we've got the Mr. Hyde aftershave. Uh, these are pretty big eight ounce bottles. And the Dr. Jekyll aftershave, and these got the, the holy black stamp on them. Um, I can see just looking down in the bottle, you probably can't see it through there. Um, yeah, you can. Um, so there's some oils in there, so I'm sure this needs to be mixed up pretty well. Let's see if you can see them dropping through there. Um, so yeah, there's, uh, there's some oils in both of those. You can kind of see them moving around in the bottom of the bottle. Let's see, I've got a flashlight right here. So there's some bubbles of oil inside there. So I'm sure this is gonna have to be shaken up uh, before use. Uh, I'm not gonna open these up right now to sample them because I wanna uh, be careful when I cut these open to not damage the, uh, the wax seal or damage it as little as possible when I open them. And then the other thing is the uh, eau de toilette for the Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde set. Um, I think these are 50 mil, yep, 50 mil bottles. Um, these bottles are just really cool. Uh, so the presentation on these is, is really awesome. Um, I wasn't, I mean, I wasn't expecting the bottles to be this cool initially. Obviously I've seen the set since they have come out, um, but I think those are really cool. I don't see any, there's no oils in here. Uh, so I'm sure the oils are just some sort of skin food or glycerin or something like that. Uh, so we're gonna just cover that up. Nope, just a second. Let's see if we can get that to reset again. There we go. So, see in here, there's some little LED lights that were just sitting behind the bottles to light them up. And then there's a little speaker and circuit board right there to play the music. And then uh, I guess the, uh, the pipette is so that you can take uh, some of each of the aftershaves out if you want to mix them. And then, let's see if I can get this off without ripping it.
Oh, geez. So I'm not going to read that. Well, not right now, at least. Um, but it looks like a letter that was written from uh, Dr. Jekyll. So that'll be interesting to read later on. So there is my set. Um, very happy with the set right now. Um, glad that I didn't have to spend more than what I did on it. Um, I know a lot of uh, aftermarket stuff sometimes goes uh, crazy high with the, uh, the prices. Luckily, I didn't have to do that with this one. Um, but just overall, just really happy with it. I, I wasn't sure if I wanted to get in it on it at first. And um, I mean, the presentation was awesome and everything looked good and uh, they're, they're, everything is vetiver. So it, they're two different sides of vetiver. Um, and so different takes on the vetiver scent. And I like vetiver, but I didn't know if I was gonna like it enough. And then after a couple of people actually received their sets, um, and they reviewed it, um, a couple of them, knowing some of the scents that I do like, uh, Root said that I was really gonna probably like it, and so that's why I went ahead and, uh, and grabbed it. So, initial sniffs on the, uh, on the soap are favorable, but again, I, I, they're together, so I can't really isolate the two scents, um, that'll, that'll be more when I get into the aftershave, so... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, I don't know if anybody, aside from the folks who actually own this set, if anybody has actually seen or heard or experienced um, what you're supposed to see when you actually open it. So I uh, just kind of wanted to show that off and let everybody see the experience that didn't get in on it themselves. So here's the set all together. Um, I think this piece um, is gonna be something cool to hang on my wall uh, in the bathroom. Um, since all these pieces are probably gonna go, go in the den and on a shelf, um, I don't see any point in keeping this all locked up. Um, this would also, if I put a hinge on this, that would make like a really cool shelf or something. So there's a lot of things you could do that, with this box um, in the future. So I'll get some ideas going. Uh, but just wanted to make this quick video for you guys uh, and show you the set for those that haven't seen it other than a couple of pictures. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, we'll see you on the forums. I'm Spider and we'll see you on the Shaving Cadre. Later.